The hearing of the five co-accused in the Tabo Pesta case has been postponed to the 16th of May. That's next week, Tuesday. All eight accused in the matter, including Besta and Dr. Nandi Pamakudumana, will appear for the first time together. ENCA senior reporter Slindilo Masigan is covering this story for us. She's joining us now live from Mangaung this afternoon and today just to give us an update what happened in court today. Good afternoon, Slindelo. So while we await for next Tuesday, just tell our viewers what happened today. Uh, quite an informative day um, in the Bloemfontein Magistrates Court where Bradan, for the first time, a lot of what uh, we've been seeing on social media, a lot of the reports that uh, media houses have been releasing um, in the run-up to the arrests have actually been confirmed. Uh, you know, we were told about um, how Dr. Nandipa claimed uh, Katleho Bereng's body um, with uh, a man called Zanda Moyo. Uh, she claimed to be assisting this man um, to claim the body of his brother. Ultimately, we know that that body um, was Gatlejo Bereng, the body that was planted in Tabo Besta's cell. Um, we then heard details around how uh, police have gathered evidence um, in their investigations about how he lost his life, um, as well as um, how his body was transported um, or taken from the mortuary uh, by accused um, number one uh, during a fake funeral, um, in essence, Bradan. We know that instead of of Bereng's body being um, buried by Dr. Nandipa. Uh, she and the co-accused actually buried bags of mealy meal, uh, which were exhumed by the police. Uh, we know that that funeral was used as a decoy for accused number one, Sinuhe Matsuara, to take possession of the body um, and bring it uh, to the Mangawun Correctional Center. And that was the body, of course, used um, to uh, as a decoy rather um, and planted in Bester's cell. For over a year now, uh, Bereng's family of course we know um, has been wondering what happened to their loved one and um, you know, there was a particular moment in court where the state prosecutor asked uh, the investigating officer, you know, how did the family eventually find out uh, that Bereng's body ended up in that prison cell? Um, and he says it was through, of course, those DNA tests that were done on um, his mother, confirming um, only this year in April that, in fact, her son um, was, uh, uh, was the one who was found um, in that uh, in that cell, and in fact, the investigating officer becoming quite emotional, um, you know, just telling the court how the family has been angered, how they've been just heartbroken, and to hear how Katlejo Bereng's body was treated um, by the accused. Let's just take a listen to uh, what some of the investigating officer had to say um, about Katlejo Bereng and how um, he passed away. It was from National Hospital. Do we know how that person died? I put the camera on post to go. See or ring the camera to Sarah. We the assistant go to Hong Kong. Also, it is to go see. It's not a claim we go to a connection. See to go see claim we go connection. What's wrong with you? Oh, she does wrong. Mochi patient dealer will at Hola and takes green key away. That patient was found having collapsed at the taxi rank. Moy Loring will issue a speeding ambulance that images service. Whereupon this patient was taken by the paramedics with an ambulance to the hospital. Kimoe Loring, we are very doctor, we are shocked at the and the bar, the one who resuscitated. And according to the doctors, the patient, the patient died at the hospital during the resuscitation when the doctors were trying to resuscitate. Him or her? One of the sugar level is high, which is in the class. And 
this pa this patient had been diagnosed for having a low for having suffered from a low blood sugar level. Indeed, a lot of stuff coming coming out there, there, there today. I mean, there's a lot that people want to understand about, about the body, but also about how Mr. Besta, in fact, uh, ended up and how he actually left or walked out of Manlaung. Slindem? Mm. Certainly so. And now we got a clearer picture, but and in terms of what uh, the state is alleging against the accused, how they've linked them um, to the escape, how they've um, outlined each of their roles um, in this particular escape. And it does um, look as if not only um, has one of the accused confessed, but the uh, state has a paper trail uh, in terms of money that was deposited uh, by Tabo Besta in the account of uh, accused number one, Sunu Hematswara, who was then mandated um, to pay um, all the others uh, who were involved um, in, in the escape. In particular, we know Matswara received at least 150,000 rand. Uh, we know accused number three, the CCTV technician, uh, he was promised about 2.5 million rand, uh, but only got about 40,000 rand uh, for his role um, in the escape. And we know that uh, one of these uh, control room operators, uh, Deho Makotsa, uh, received about 14,000 rand. So far, uh, those are the people we know who were paid for their role. Uh, the other accused, uh, like uh, Nastasia Janssen, um, as well as uh, Mudenyana uh, Masukela, we understand, were not paid. Uh, but what's also interesting, um, Bradan, is that Debucho uh, Dipole, um, the investigating officer detailing that, uh, in fact, he is the one who walked out of prison um, with Besta after giving him a G4S uniform um, as a disguise. Let's take a listen. This inmate was provided with the uniform of the G4S. Yes. Me loring in me tina na ila tswali ndati dipolo go tswakara prison center. And subsequently this inmate walked out with Mr. Dipolo out of the prison center. Why a G4S uniform? Why did I not wear a G4S uniform? Kitumelori, as Puri, as Hadeli, Basiliti, by G4S, you were shipped. I believe it was for his disguise as one of the officials of the prison from the G4S. And that's how he ultimately escaped. Yes, Lindelo, you know, what an escape. I mean, as other people have pointed out, uh, Tabo Pesta literally walked out of that prison. And now we know he was e pretending or dressed as a G4S security personnel. Now, where Tuesday is coming up. Just give our, our viewers a very quick uh, look ahead to say what can we expect in court when all of them will be appearing for the first time together. Do we know yet whether Tabo Pesta will be transported from Jose Mampuru, the second prison in Pretoria, all the way to Mangaou, or he'll be appearing virtually? Uh, you would remember I mentioned um, the possibility, brother, and a couple of days ago of uh, Tabo Besta appearing virtually for his next court appearance because from what we understand, the main matter where we are expecting all accused to be in the dock for the first time um, uh, with uh, Tabo Besta, uh, we understand that that matter is going to be postponed anyway. Uh, we understand for further investigations and so forth. And so what we are expecting um, is that right after the postponement of the main matter, 
matter. We will continue uh, with the bail applications of um, the five accused who have applied for bail. Um, and at this point, just towards the end of proceedings, we then heard from the state prosecutor telling the magistrate that he had received an application by DCS, the Department of Correctional Services, uh, requesting uh, that Bester appear virtually, simply because we are, of course, expecting a postponement. Um, and, uh, I mean, it's about a five-hour drive from Pretoria to um, Mangawung. And I think, essentially, um, the security risk and the... Uh, you know, the money that's involved essentially in transporting Bester um, simply just doesn't make sense uh, for him to be in court. And so we know that the Jose Mampuru prison does have virtual facilities. So there is a high possibility uh, that Bester could be appearing virtually um, on Tuesday. But of course, uh, the bail applications themselves uh, are also expected to continue. Thank you very much. Ndela Masigane. Wishing you a safe trip back to Gauteng after you've concluded uh, covering this case for us. But we continue on it uh, with today the investigating officer, as we heard from Slindelo in the matter, revealing details of when, how, and where Bereng's body uh, was found.